I hope everyone had a great 4th of July holiday. The weather was fantastic here. Um, but uh, now it's time to start digging back into the CTC Link project. Uh, I have a couple, uh, couple things I want to cover first before we dig into um, the topic for today, which is going to be UPK or User Productivity Kit. Uh, the couple things I want to touch on are uh, one, the BPA sessions. Uh, we're in our third week, uh, uh, or closing up our third week of the BPA sessions. Uh, there's been a ton of great information, uh, information overload at times, I think, because it's uh, there's just a lot uh, to the application. Uh, but I wanted to kind of point out where you can go and 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 watch the recordings if you were if you weren't able to attend a session, or if you need to kind of review some of the information that you did see in one of the BPA sessions. So the the, the recordings can be accessed off of the state board website. Uh, so you just go to the sbctc.edu and you click the link for CTC link on the home page. And once there, once on the CTC link page, on the left hand side you'll find a menu. Uh, one of the items is called College Resources. Now you'll need to be on campus or access this through the VPN if you're at home. But go ahead and click on that link and then you'll see there are three additional links that show up and one is BPA Workshops. So if you click on BPA Workshops, the first link at the top is the BPA Workshop Super Schedule. Now this is very similar to the schedule that I've been sending out in a PDF format, but this one uh, is in Excel and has a bunch of links uh, for information in addition to links to the recordings. So if you click on that link, you'll end up pulling up an Excel spreadsheet, which I'll show you here. And you'll see that it looks, looks just like the, uh, the workshop schedule that I've been sending out. And you'll notice at the bottom that there are three tabs. Uh, right now I'm on the Campus Solutions tab, but there's also an HCM or Human Capital Management tab and a financial, uh, Financials tab, so if you want to look at finance. Um, but I'm going to look at the Campus Solutions right now, and you'll see that there's uh, links to the PowerPoint presentations, there are links to the BPDs or Business Process Flow Diagrams, and then on the far right there are links to the recordings. So this spreadsheet or super schedule is updated weekly. So you'll want to download it uh, every week so that you can get access to the new new recording links. Uh, okay, and that covers the, the super schedule and how to get the recordings. Uh, the other thing I want to talk a little bit about is I just wanted to congratulate Jason Sandusky for being our episode two winner. Um, he's been hosting uh, Link, our mascot now, for quite some time. And, um, and so next week I, I'm hoping to find a new home for Link. Uh, outside of information systems because he's been down there for, for quite a bit with Evelyn and Jason. So keep your eyes peeled for uh, the question coming on Monday and the question is going to cover the, um, the part two of this recording where I talk about uh, the user productivity kit. So pay special attention to episode two or episode three part two because um, the question is going to uh, derive from the UPK session. So with that we'll go ahead and get into UPK.